you are preparing for active directory job interview and don't know how to crack interview and what level of difficulty of questions to be asked in job interview then watch our full video for active directory interview questions and answers to crack your job interview hello friends this is Rajni Sator and welcome you to our youtube channel the master of active directory let's start from question number one can you explain active directory replication workflow Answer. Suppose we have made some changes in a domain controller in a domain. Modify domain controller notifies to its partner DCs that it has the latest update to replicate. Then partner DC send the request for updates to modify DC. When an inbound replication partner domain controller sees its partner has a higher evasion value for any attribute, a replication pull request is made to replicate the changes to the partner. On the basis of USN, timestamp and GYD, partner DCs pull the replications from modified domain controller. Question number 2. What is strict replication? Answer. Strict replication consistency is a registry value that prevents destination domain controllers from replicating in lingering objects. Question number 3. What is high watermark? Answer. This is a value that destination domain controller maintains to keep track of the most recent change that it has received from a specific source domain controller for an object in a specific directory partitions. This value prevents irrelevant object from being considered by the source domain controller with respect to a single destination. To see the value of high watermark, run rep admin slash so rep slash verbose command question number four what is usn answer the usn or update sequence number is the basis of how active directory replication works the usn is a value stored with each attribute that changes by either a local change or a replicated change from a partner domain controller each domain controller keeps track of its own changes and other domain control in the infrastructure are aware of all other domain controllers usn value active directory replication relies on update sequence numbers on each domain controllers the usn acts as a counter each dc's usn value is unique to our domain controller the replication system is designed with this restrictions in mind when an inbound replication partner domain controller sees its partner has a higher USN value for any attribute, a replication pull request is made to replicate the changes to, to the partner. Question number 5. What is USN rollback? Answer. USN rollback is mainly caused by restoring a DC using non-Microsoft restore process like Norton Ghost, VMware Snapshot, etc. or when we perform V2V of an existing DC. Modification to object and attributes that occur on one domain control do not replicate to other domain controllers in the forest. Because replication partner believes that they have an up-to-date copy of Active Directory database. After hotfix 8.7.5.4.9.5 or Windows Server 2003 Service Act 1 is installed, a Microsoft Windows Server 2003 domain control logs directory service event 2095 when it encounters a USN rollback. Question number 6. What is the difference between NTLM and Kerberos authentication? Answer. The big difference is how the two protocols handle the authentication. NTLM uses a three-way handshake between the client and server and Kerberos uses two-way handshake using a ticket granting service. Also Kerberos are considered to be more secure than NTLM. Question number 7. What is major difference between FRS and DFSR? Answer. DFSR introduced in 2008 server. DFSR replicate only modified file instead of whole database. DFSR uses self-healing technique, so there is no general rep error using DFSR. DFSR work on remote differential compression algorithm. Question number 8. What are GPC and GPT? Answer. 
the GPC, which contains information on the properties of a GPO, is stored in Active Directory on each domain controller in the domain. The GPT contains the data in a GPO and is stored in the syswall in the policy subdirectory. Question number 9. What is Starter GPO? Answer. A Starter GPO can be thought of as a group policy object template that may administrators use as baseline while creating any GPO. The benefit of having a Starter GPO is that the administrator can configure a Starter GPO with the baseline and mandatory settings that they want to automatically include in every new group policies object that they create. With the help of starter GPOs, the administrator can save their decent amount of time which they would have to otherwise spend if they were to make the basic level initial configuration in every GPO that they want to create. You can have as many starter GPO as you want and each starter GPO can have a separate set of settings which can be included in any GPO at the time of its creation. However, you can add only one starter GPO to a Guru policy object at a time. What is fine-grained password policy? Answer: You can use fine-grained password policy to specify multiple password policies in a single domain and apply different restrictions of password and account lockout policies to different sets of users in a domain. Thank you for watching this video. If you want us to make a video on any topic of Windows or Active Directory, please write us in comment box. And if you are new on this channel, then please subscribe and press bell icon to get notification of our upcoming videos. So friends, thank you for watching once again and don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon so that you can get notification of our new updates and upcoming videos. Thank you. See you in next video.